Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. If you're looking for something fun to do this Saturday, well, there's a great event happening and Drinking Vessels is putting it on. So we've got the team joining me on the couch. We've got Ben, Jeff, and Ian. Thank you guys all so much for being here bright and early. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us again. It's um, such a beautiful morning to get out and about. And you guys are doing a great event. And Ben, you always put on these great events for people from all over the country, artists that make beautiful pieces to come and really celebrate their work. Yeah, I think I've been working on the math. This might be the sixth annual Vale Cup Collectors Club. Um, Ian has been to one before, I think, a summer show. And uh, Jeff used to live up here in Vale, but hasn't been up for the show since uh, they lived down in Texas. So it's great to have them out here. It is great to have you guys out here. So how's it been since you've been here? Uh, it's really nice. It's a lot of fun to be in the studio with Ben. We have a lot of fun making glass at his place. And so you guys both are glass blowers. Yes. Yeah, we're both artists in Austin, and we came up together to do this show. Nice. And mm -hmm. so are you drinking out of your own cups, or are you drinking out of someone else's cups? This is actually a cup that I made. It's a white tiger print, mm -hmm. a pint glass. Yep. And then... Yeah, this is a collaborative piece uh, Jeff and I made together in Austin for this show. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so this entire show is about pint glasses based on the shirts. It's a yep. pint party. <laughs> yep, so we've got these shirts made uh, I feel really by some friends of out. ours. We're going oh. to bring you one, don't worry. <laughs> we just didn't have it this morning. It was an early, early wake up. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Saturday from 2 to 10, we're going to have the Veil vale Cup Collectors Club Pint Party Edition over at the studio in Minturn. Um, these are a few of the artists who are visiting, and we have a bunch more artists on the way up here uh, to collaborate for the weekend, to do you know demonstrations. Um, and then we'll have the aerial performers, the girls from Vale Mountain Cirque will be over. Um, probably some live painting and a bunch of other interactive art experiences. Which is really cool because you make the most out of these experiences by bringing so many different elements of art to life, which I think that people maybe underestimate how many different elements we have here in our community and you do such a good job at highlighting all of it. Yeah, we're trying to work with as many locals as we can and then of course bringing in these artists from around the country makes the experience really one of a kind. Um, and we've been doing it for long enough now that it's, we kind of have a program in place, whereas the first few years was me and my brother and a few <laughs> of our friends and some artists who kind of lived close. And now, now we have people coming from Austin and from around the country to be a part of this. So very Which exciting. Is incredible. And it's incredible that you guys are here now. How long have you been blowing, blowing glass for? Um, I've been working about 10 years on borosilicate. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. 12, and how about you? 12 years myself. And how'd you guys get into it? Um, we just really wanted to, um, <laughs> and we figured it out ourselves and bought the equipment and we've just been doing it since then. Which is so cool because it's one of those things that I feel like is such a unique talent. Like every time I go into Ben's studio and I watch him do it, I'm like, wow, <laughs> like I'm too scared of all of this, but to see it is amazing. And then to see the product of it is amazing. So Ben, tell me a little bit more about your glass. Yeah, so this was made by a couple of friends of mine. One would be Avant Garde, which is a, a group of artists down in uh, Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. And they've created this sippy straw technology where the, the liquid actually goes through and around the cup and then up through the straw. And another friend of ours, Salt, did the sculptural elements here. Um, something that won't mean much to people who don't blow glass but is super fascinating about this piece is that it was all, uh, you know, decorated without pressure meaning he couldn't blow in it when he added all these teeth and, and accents, um, which normally you'd be able to puff against the, against the heat and you could kind of counterbalance it. And so this piece is really um, going to be one of the highlights of the show. I mean, that's like a work of art and all of this takes so much time. And that's the thing that people don't understand is you don't just like blow the cups and then boom, they're magically appeared. It's like you do a part and then you heat it again and let it sit and then you do a part and heat it again and let it sit. And so these are literally like labors of love right here. Hours and hours and hours, hours of preparation to everyone. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And Ben, Drinking Vessels specifically sells other artists work too. So mm -hmm. not only do you create your own, but you're really a great vendor for artists to come and I mean, showcase their work. Yeah, absolutely. So a few months ago we did a show down in Austin Jeff and Ian hosted me at their studio, and we were able to make a few cups together. Um, and then I was able to showcase a lot of uh, artists from all over, but, but a lot of Austin artists work down there. Um, and this is our second time. I've worked with Ian a lot in the past, but it's our second time as a group putting stuff together. Um, and we've been in the studio for the last 48 hours with 
few hours of sleep, uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> in between. Hard. And cool we're going straight from here back to the studio. I wanted to go get some laps this morning, but I think I probably need to go to work. <laughs> right. I mean, it's going to be a beautiful day to get out there and ski or ride, but they are labors of love, and you have a signature piece. You do the really cool composite notebook. Absolutely. And so do you have a signature piece? Um, I have kind of a signature style, which is more of um, using a sand art technique mm -hmm. to, to build these from the bottom up. Uh, this is a similar process, just not as uh, not an animal print. Right. Right. And how about um, you? I usually do some very detailed, uh, intricate, thin line welding styles, and do a lot of geometric patterns and things like that. It's all so fascinating to me just because it is such a talent and such an art form and such a labor of love that you guys put into these to bring them to life and then give people the experience of having way cooler cups than they had before. Yeah, so for people who want to check this out and, and learn more about the cups, we have tickets available at uh, drinkingvessels.com. It's $25 for Saturday. That's going to be from 2 to 10 p.m. Um, it's the Pint Party, the Vail Cup Collectors Club, and we're over in the Jerry Sibley Plumbing Building at 1040 Main Street in Minturn. Um, we're going to have food from our vendors from Kirby Cosmos and Rocky Mountain Taco. Like I said, we'll have the aerial performances and other uh, you know, interactive art going on. So check out the website, drinkingvessels.com. You can get tickets for the Vail Cup Collectors Club, and we'll hope to see people on Saturday. Now, I just have one final question. Uh, tell me about this hat that you have on, yeah, the Egg the King. Yeah, this is, this is my big announcement. So Max Burstein is the Egg King, and I have two friends, Max and Joel, who have been competing for my, my breakfast approval. Um, because I, you know, I can't cook. I'm, I'm pretty inept in the kitchen. <laughs> so they send me pictures of their eggs in the morning, and I, I, you know, I get to see what they're cooking. And Max, Max wanted to make the official announcement that he's the egg king. Amazing! Congratulations, <laughs> Max. <laughs> That's an impressive uh, feat right there. Yeah, the sorry, egg Joel. King. <laughs> the egg king. Now, does he come and make you eggs? He will. It's been a, it's been a while, but he has, and he will again. I don't think you get to be the egg king without sharing the eggs. All right, Max, you got to come make eggs next time you uh, next time you have a chance to come to Vail. We'll bring you on TV. Yeah, I was just gonna say you can actually come make the entire TV <laughs> studio eggs, and we'll all judge if you're the egg king or not. Um, yeah, congratulations, Max. This is a really big accomplishment. <laughs> well, no, because we just we just took away the title. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you guys all so much for being here. Thanks again for having us. Thanks yep. for traveling, and thanks for all of the hard work that you guys put into these labors of love. I know that I have one of the mugs at my house. Oh, that's great. That came from drinking vessels, and I absolutely love it. My roommate and I, like, fight over who gets to drink out of it when we make tea, and it's beautiful. So I think that if you have not yet bought your tickets at Drinking Vessels' website, that you should go online, buy your tickets, $25.00. 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. and you can come and meet all of these amazing artists. So thank you guys again for being here. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Maddie. We're going to take a short break and when we come back we've got more Good Morning Vale, so stay tuned.